Good morning, everyone, and welcome back on this Wednesday. Taking a look outside, we still have very hazy conditions today that's going to continue today um, as we have high pressure moving into our area. But we'll get to that in just a minute. We're starting off at 56 degrees in the capital city. You can see some haze up in Great Falls as well, starting off at 54 degrees in that area. So this graphic really demonstrates the high pressure ridge that's building over the western United States that has been building over the last couple of hours and this low that's moving off to our southeast and that's going to be moving out of Montana and high pressure means that we'll have more smoke, warmer temperatures and calmer weather. So not much in the way of weather patterns developing, but the big story is going to be air quality because this high pressure traps the air quality in our area. So lots of wildfires on the west coast of the United States and Canada as well. Lots of smoke, especially in British Columbia. Columbia and in Montana as well. That's kind of impacting our area and worsening the air quality in northwestern Montana where there is an air quality alert. Also, there's a lot of air quality alerts in Canada as well in British Columbia because of all the fires, but those just don't pop up on this map because it's an international border. But you can see just south of the border in the United States, there are a lot of air quality alerts in Washington and Idaho and Oregon because of the high pressure and all of the fires that have developed. But in Montana, the air quality alert is just for northwestern Montana. Um, the rest of the state is pretty much in the clear, although air quality is not good in a lot of areas. It's moderate for most of central Montana, lots of folks across the state because there is a little bit of air um, issues with air quality. Northwestern Montana is getting hit hardest with that. There are a lot of wildfires in that area and northwest of that area which are worsening things, um, the air quality in that area. So taking a look at some of the fires that are burning in Montana, some of the biggest ones and most notable ones, the Davis fire. This has grown a lot overnight, a couple of couple of hundred acres and they're looking at that being contained finally on August 18th which is just a few days away so that's good news for that. The Howe Ridge fire burning in Glacier National Park grew a little bit yesterday as well that's causing a lot of air issues in the Lake McDonald area and just a little bit further south the Monument fire this has grown 200 acres in the last 24 hours and has only 2% contained so that is down um, near the border with Wyoming, kind of close to that Bacon Rind fire. And closer to home, near Helena, the 467 Trail Fire has grown 10 acres in the last 24 hours. The Shell Rock Fire is pretty much in the same situation that it was yesterday. And we've had lots of uh, fire weather in the last few days, but we're looking at some moisture moving in here near the end of this week. So today things are pretty quiet, but we are going to see a change coming through in the next few days. Tomorrow will be quiet as well with that high pressure that's moved in but Friday we're going to see some moisture start to move in in the afternoon and evening hours continuing through Saturday lots of folks are going to get some thunderstorms from this but the good news with that is they are going to include some rainfall which is good news and also temperatures are really going to cool off as well into the weekend because of the front moving through. So also good news in terms of fire weather. It's not always uh, the most fun to see rainfall on the weekend. I certainly wish it would just come during the week so everyone could enjoy the weekend, but we can take all the rain we can get right now. Hopefully that'll help to kind of dampen some of those fires and help with the containment on all of those. And when you look at at least the last month and a half, really no moisture to speak of. Right, this is good to see. Yeah, it is. Katie, thanks so much.